dear friends this is my tutorial 18 in gaussian so in this tutorial you can learn how to do c13 nmr calculation using gaussian 09 windows or 16 software so this is the model system one chloro silatrine okay here you can see two kind of carbon one is n connected c another one is o connected c so we will do the nmr c13 nmr calculation and we will find out the isotropic or chemical shift value of these two carbons okay yeah so now this is the gaussian.com um, slash nmr if you go to this website you will find the description for nmr so here you can see uh, two different kind of method they will put here one is csgt method or another one is giao method so we will study these two method so in order to get nmr shielding tensors okay so this is the paper published by bulletin of korean chemical society in 2000 okay in this paper they used two kind of methods giao cs gt method to study the c13 nmr chemical shift of one chloro cell training okay so we will also use this two kind of method to study the c13 nmr chemical shift okay this compound one chloro cell training okay so in this paper they first they optimized the system using this b3 lop 631 g star basis set then this optimized geometry they will did the nmr calculation using this two method giao cs gt methods okay so using this uh, formula we can calculate the chemical shift of our system okay here the delta is the chemical shift the unit is ppm okay here you can see the sigma reference means tetramethyl silane reference compound we have to put here then this is this sigma is the our system so which system want to calculate you have to put that isotropic value of here so you have to put the isotropic value of reference system then you can subtract with you will get the corresponding atom chemical shift okay so this is the the table okay they have okay, used two different kind of method giao and csgt method and use the different kind of functional and also different kind of basis set in order to calculate the chemical shift of that one chlorosilatrine okay so then they also compared with that experimental one this um, the calculated one so we will also use uh, this uh, b3 loip 631 g star method to calculate the chemical shift of this one chlorosilatrine and um, we will compare with the uh, experimental one so we are going to do this uh, two method giao csgt so we can compare lately this with the experimental one okay so uh, in order to do the nmr uh, calculation you need to optimize your system first okay so this is the silatrine i will i will show you the input file so this is the input file for that uh, silatrine okay this is the input file for optimization so already i told many times so uh, i will tell you one one second so this is the silatrine and name you the chk equal to you have to put your system name then you have to put memory and the info shared so this is the if you use super computer system you can give this number so if you are using uh, any desktop computer just you put the six million word six mw here you can put a two or four maximum you put two is enough you can put two that's enough then this is the root section this is the theory i am using then you are going to put the optimization frequency calculation then this is the system name okay then you have to put your uh, charge and multiplicity this is the cartesian coordinates and what are the atom present in the system okay then you have to put zero okay that's all then the basis set you have to put here 631 g star and you have to put four star that means end of the input file then you give some space then you can save okay so then you can submit this file your supercomputer so if you are using your uh, uh, windows version just you save this file as a dot gjf file and submit your calculation using your windows computers okay that's all so i will show you this input file using gauss view it 
just drag it you will see the input file okay this is the input file so i will show you that optimize the input file uh, optimize the system so this is that i already did the optimization this is the optimize the output file so you can drag this file into here so you can see this is the optimized the system so here the, i mentioned that charge is zero because one cl minus uh, four uh, three c o minus equal to uh, total charge you will get zero okay so three o minus the charges here the silicon is zero this is the output file for uh, select train so just we will view this one using gauss view open gauss view okay just to drag it okay this is the optimized structure of one chloro select train okay so this is the overall charge is zero because so this is the three o three minus one chlorine 1 minus totally 4 minus silicon actually 4 plus here so total 4 plus and 4 minus overall charge is 0 okay the spin multiplicity singlet so in order to do nmr calculation just save this optimized cartesian coordinate for further calculation okay save create one folder okay then save this uh, file to there okay so this is the one so this is the optimized Cartesian coordinate of one chloro train. okay so you can copy this Cartesian coordinate for your number calculations okay mm. so I already made the uh, input file for NMR calculation so one method GIAO method so just I will open and show you so this is the input file for nmr calculations okay this is the name okay simply letter in nmr i mentioned so this is the memory and this is the uh, n flow shared okay so if you are using supercomputers just leave it like this so if you are using desktop just you can change into the 6mw here and uh, here two you can mention that's all so this is the root section this is the theory we are using b3 lyp so this is the nmr keyword okay here nmr equal to giao comma spin speed comma mixed so if you use this keyword you will get that isotropic value of each atom and also the spin spin coupling constant also you will get okay so you also give you mixed keyword that's enough so again you can give one space and this is the say, name of the system and again the name charge is zero and this is the uh, one spin matrix this is the optimized Cartesian coordinate of selectron. okay this is the atom present in the molecule then put zero then basis is 631 g star then put four star then you can uh, give enter then you can uh, save this file okay so the, you run this file with your uh, desktop computer or super computer you will get that output files okay So next what we have to do, we have to do the similar types of calculation for the reference system. <laughs> so reference system is our TMS, okay. So it is the TMS uh, things. So this is the input file for TMS, just I will open TMS means tetramethyl silane, okay. Similarly what you used for our optimization of slatrin, uh, you can follow the same things. So here the charge is also here 0 so uh, spin multiple delta 1 okay here carbon silicon h is there in the system this is the cartesian coordinate so it's the basis set of the system then you can put four star then enter you can save you can run this uh, optimization frequency calculation okay then you will get your output file so i will show you that output file so this is the uh, tetramethyl slain output file okay you have to similar to that selectron you have to do the uh, nmr calculation for this also okay so then you can save this file as a input file for nmr calculation okay this is that uh, nmr calculation input file for selectron uh, tms so similarly i have mentioned here keyword nmr equal to gaao spin spin and mixed okay 
everything the same uh, what you use the basis set and theory also same basis set also same method we have to use okay that's how you can run this calculation you will get the output file this is the nmr output file okay this is the giao method so i will tell you another method another method is csgt method okay you can also use this method so i will show you show you the input file for that method so this is the csgt method the, uh, the nmr keyword is you can type nmr equal to csgt spin spin and mix it same thing just you have to change into this only okay giao instead of giao you have to mention csgt just to run the calculation you will get that isotropic value of the corresponding atoms okay that's all so now we will see the isotropic value of our selectrain and tms so first we will see the um, selectrain okay so giu method this is the output file okay just i will open this with a gas view this output file so if you want to see that uh, nmr you see in that uh, gas view just go to result and you can see different things you can see here click you can get your nmr uh, spectrum of uh, this selectrain okay so like that you can also do your calculation or also check so now i will tell you how to get that correct isotropic value of a uh, each carbon atom and also how to get the chemical shift of each atom okay so so close it yeah we need this one just we can open so so i think that the six carbon atom are the same environment so we can check only uh, two carbon atom okay this is the one eight carbon this is the 11th carbon so this is the eighth carbon is uh, uh, near to the connected to oxygen so 11th carbon connected to the nitrogen so we will get some different chemical shift value of this two carbon okay so just i will open this one with uh, notepad plus plus so you can go down yeah so here you will get the scf giao magnetic shielding tensor in ppm unit okay so this is the shielding isotropic value so here what we want to we want to 8th carbon and 11th carbon okay so this is the number of the atom so this is the corresponding atom uh, nitrogen means nitrogen carbon means carbon so if you come down so this is the 8th carbon okay so 8th carbon isotropic value is 128.0707 okay so this one and also 11th carbon this is the 11th carbon so this is isotropic value is 135.0682 so you need to copy this uh, two values okay so i will show you that how i calculated so this is the gi GIAO method calculation okay so this is the TMS isotropic value I will tell you this later so here you can see selectrain 13 nmr analysis this is the OCH2 that means the 8th carbon 8th carbon C is isotropic value 128.0787 okay so here you can see uh, 8th carbon 128.0707 okay so then another uh, nch2 is isotropic value 135.0682 so uh, that 11th carbon 0682 this is 135.0682 just i copy pasted here okay so you need to copy paste here then um, you need to get the tms isotropic value so i already told you have to calculate the nmr calculation for references also okay so this is the reference this is the GIO method I used. So this is the TMS output file. So you go if you go down, you will find the isotropic value of this one. 
so you can see SEF GIEO magnetic shielding tensor okay here you can see uh, carbon 2 so 190.1415 so here you can see in our result okay I also already copied that 2614 okay 2, ca two carbon is the sixth number carbon so 190.1505 okay likewise I 10th and 14 also I copied that number 10 this is the 10th carbon isotropic 190.1514 and also 14th carbon 190.1515 okay so these are the four uh, carbon atom uh, in that uh, TMS so you need to add this uh, four atom divided by four you will get the average value okay that's all so I already told you one uh, formula so reference sigma reference minus sigma okay so we need to do like this so here you see Mm, this is the reference value this is the reference 190.150475 this is the TMS reference minus isotropic value of this OCH2 carbon this 128.0707 so if you subtract this two value so using calculator so you will get 62.07 okay likewise so this is the 11th carbon isotropic value just you can uh, subtract this two value with reference value you will get 55.08 okay this is the corresponding chemical shift of uh, this OCH2 carbon this is NCH2 uh, carbon okay that's all likewise you can also do your system and also this is the similar method for the CSGT also okay I also calculated the CSGT method so this is the CSGT method similarly you have to do so if you use this method you have to mm, calculate that method the TMS just you can get average value and also likewise you can uh, subtract this that uh, eighth carbon value with that uh, um, mm, reference value you will get the corresponding uh, PPM chemical shift value okay this is the method so you can do any any one any co compound you can use this method to do okay that's all so now we will compare with our result with the reported one okay so this is the GIO method just will compare only one GIO method so we used b3 lyp method okay so here you can see what we got so och2 och2 there we got a uh, 62.07 okay then uh, nch2 52.53 here so we got 55.08 okay and slightly more value we got and compared to uh, this experiment one also we got slightly more okay that's okay no problem you, you if you use higher uh, good quality basis set and theory maybe you will get the nearest to the experiment value maybe this is also nearest only you can uh, adopt this method in order to get your you know, more isotropic chemical shift values okay so that's all so i will share these files to you you can also do yourself the calculation and cross check one second okay thank you for watching if you like my content please like subscribe comment and share and also please the bell icon for future videos thank you thank you for watching enjoy thank you